What up? Today we're going to be talking about Snail Mail, the young artist from Baltimore who has caught the indie music scene by storm in recent times, kind of. In any case, I'm a big fan. So we're going to be making a song that kind of sounds like one of the songs off of Lush. Let's see what kind of trouble I get into this time. My advice for indie music or any modern guitar music is that you just start off with a seventh chord, a major seventh chord, and just go from there. That's pretty much what everybody's doing as far as I can tell, and I support this direction as I'm a huge fan of the major seventh chords as well. So I made a chord progression using a major seventh chord as the basis or whatever, and went on from there. For a snail mail-like riff chord progression thing, you want to put some pinky work in there, you know, make your pinky do different things within a chord to just make it sound like there's movement within a single chord. And Lindsey Jordan, the guitarist and leader and kind of only person in snail mail for some reason, does all sorts of little hammer-ons and pull-offs and stuff like that, so I put some of those in there as well. Here's what it sounds like. So I use that part as the intro, and then for the verse, I add a second guitar along with the first guitar, and both the guitars play the same thing, which is a simpler version of the main sort of riff thing. For the beginning of this, I did a 4-4 beat with the tom acting as the hi-hat, you know. I feel like snail mail does that often, so I did it too. And I noticed that the first verse of Snail Mail songs were often broken up into two parts with a musical break in the middle, sometimes with a guitar solo like in Heat Wave, so I did a guitar solo. Uh, I tracked the guitar solo twice and panned the guitars to opposite ends to make it sound like I feel like it sounds in Heat Wave. And the bass finally comes in during this instrumental break as well, just to add more oomph to it. What can be said about the chorus, really? I just did a different chord progression that worked within the scale. That's fairly common practice, I'm sure. And I like it that way. <laughs> So that's pretty simple. There are often two verses, two choruses, at least in songs like Pristine and Heat Wave. And then there's an outro that begins quiet, and then it gets loud, and then it ends on some grandiose or interesting chord of some kind. So that's what I did here. The music for this is really quite simple. It's just your typical singer-songwriter thing. I just think Lindsey Jordan manages to manifest this common formula into a rather pleasant sounding final product. In terms of lyrics, dealing with love and friend group drama and just general relatable college age problems, which I'm sure we've all faced, and it's nice to hear that coming through in a young artist such as Lindsay. 
In terms of vocal production, I double tracked my vocals during the chorus and I added a slap back on one of them and I panned them a little bit just to spread it out a little more. I'm not too sure how I feel about it in this case, but I just put it in there because I noticed it's something that is there in snail mail songs. In spite of that, I actually am quite a fan of this song that I managed to create and I hope you like it too. So that's it. I hope you liked it. Give me some tips on how you think I can improve on trying to mimic the writing processes of this artist and any other artists that I've covered. If you want me to 
cover a certain artist, recommend it in the comments. Links to this song on SoundCloud are in the description, as well as to my new album, Pastel Compressor, which you should listen to, and it's cool, and I like it. Anyway, bye.